What's up team? Coach Mike here. Welcome to Strength and Mobility. Today we're going to do six different circuits, four full body circuits and two core circuits. In each of those full body circuits we have a plank variation, a squat variation, and a bridge variation. And then those core circuits are three core moves back to back. The focus is going to be on time under tension today. So during those working sets, I want you to work for the full 40 seconds and then we'll rest for 20 seconds and I'll coach you through those transitions. I'll explain everything as we go. Let's have some fun. Everybody ready? Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is a little warm up, activate all the muscles that we're using today. Get everything good and fired up, open up some range of motion so that when we get into the circuit training later on during the work portion, work portion of this workout, you guys are all ready to go, firing on all cylinders. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is just kind of get light on your feet and start shaking your ankles out side to side. All right, weight shift side to side and then stay all the way one way, hold it there and pretend you're squashing a bow. So get full range of motion in that ankle and draw a circle while you squash the bug. And now switch the direction the opposite way and squash the bug going the other way. Now you're just trying to get full range of motion in the ankle, firing up those muscles around your ankle so that we keep your ankles resilient and healthy and strong when we get into the more dynamic portions. Now switch your weight to the other leg, squash a bug going one way, Nice big ankle circle. Keep the ball of your foot on the ground while you rotate that heel around. All right, now switch. Squash the bug going the other way. I'm not a big bug squasher. I think life in all forms is beautiful, but just using the squash a bug motion so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so a couple more circles. Squash the bug in both directions. And then come on back to two feet. Now we're gonna fire up your hip stabilizers, core stabilizers, and loosen up the hips a little bit. Get some mobility in those hips. So the first thing, shift your weight to one leg, opposite hand grabs your knee, pulls your knee up. Use your core to pull your knee even higher. Use your opposite hand to counterbalance. Pull that knee up, and under control, put that foot back down. Other side, hold that knee up. Really pull it up high. Use your core muscles to pull even higher. Get tall. And then under control, put that foot back down. You're gonna do two more on each side, holding it up, pulling the belly in, reaching the top of your head up to the ceiling, really balancing between your toe and your heel evenly, and trying to be in contact with all four corners of your foot. All right, so get tall, pull that knee up, get really tall, pull the knee higher, good. One more time on each side. Pull this knee up, take some deep breaths, long, slow inhale, exhales, trying to warm up that diaphragm and loosen up the hips and make sure your legs, hips, core are all nice and warmed up for when we get into the circuit training. All right, nice and high, good, and shake those legs out. Now put your feet about double hip width apart. So your feet double the, hip of your, double the width of your hips and then drop down, pull your belly in, Drop down into a squat, but keep your shoulders up over your hips. All right, so equal balance between your toes and your heels. Drop them down to the squat. And now I want you to weight shift all the way one way. So this leg is really working hard. And then weight shift all the way the other way. So this leg is working really hard. All right, let's do two more each direction. Try to get all your body weight on one leg. So you're really firing up that hip, knee and then shift all the way the other way. All right, and really fire up that leg. All right, one more time, shift back and forth. Equal weight between your toe and your heel. Stay nice and balanced. I like to have my hands at the center, but you might also need some balance out to the side, counterbalance to the front. All those arm positions are okay. All right, nice and slow. All the way over to the other side. Hold that leg, and then come on back up to the middle. All right, stay in that wide leg position. Abs tight, glutes tight, nice and tall. Start some arm circles forward. All right, nice and small going forward. Firing up those shoulder muscles, opening up some range of motion in your shoulders. Start to get bigger and then keep your abs tight so your body doesn't move around too much and you're just moving your arms as your abs and glutes stabilize your torso. Now get real big, 10 big circles, 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start small, going backwards. Same idea, body stays still, abs tight, glutes tight, long spine, neck on top of your spine. Get a little bigger, get a little bigger, and then real big, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, shake those arms out. All right, now we're gonna drop back down to a squat. Hold that squat, pull the belly button in, drop down, drop your butt straight down, drive your knees out to the side, equally balanced between your toes and your heels. So rock back and forth a little bit. Bring your hands to your center, so you have the center of gravity centered right around your belly, right? If a string was attached to your belly button, the string should hit the ground right between the arches of your feet, all right? And then hold your hands at your center, rotate all the way one way, own that position, stay low, and rotate all the way the other way. So we're working on hip rotation here, all right? Nice and slow, under control. Fire up all those muscles that rotate your hips. Shoulders down away from your ears, abs engaged, all right? Under control, all the way the other way. Stay low, pivot that foot all the way one way. Going back all the way the other way. And then come back to the center and come out of it. Good work. Keep those hips right where they are, feet right where they are. On this one, keep your hips facing forward and rotate your shoulders. All right, so have your hands out to the side. Rotate your shoulders all the way one way. Try to keep your hips still. Major key is tighten those glutes. So flex your butt and that'll help stabilize your hips. Rotate all the way the other way. Going two more each way. Take an inhale across the middle. Exhale and rotate. Inhale across the middle. Exhale and rotate. Pull the abs in tight. One more time. Inhale across the middle. Exhale and rotate. Inhale across the middle. Exhale and rotate. Good. All right, next we're gonna do a little ball slam. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can do what I do here, a slow motion ball slam. So I'm just gonna show you what the movement is first, then I'll add the medicine ball in. All right, so you're dropping down to a squat with straight arms, get as low as you can. All right, grab onto the medicine ball, bring it all the way up overhead, all the way onto your tippy toes, reach up as high as you can, and then under control, snap down from your hips, your abs, your arms, back to the ground. All right, let's try a slow motion again, nice and slow. All the way up, reach up as high as you can. It's apple picking season. You wanna get that good apple from the top of the tree and then under control, all the way back down into the ball slam. All right, keep going with that slow motion ball slam if you don't have a medicine ball. If you do, bring the medicine ball into the mix. Now, if you guys are at home working out in your apartment, you might need to be mindful if you have neighbors downstairs or if you don't care about that, fire away. All right, so now under control, reach all the way up and then use your whole body, slam and catch. Right back up, all right, slam and catch. All the way up, slam and catch. Try to make it a fluid motion, using your hips, arms, abs, everything working together. Slam, reach. Slam, two more, all the way up, slam it down. Last one, all the way up, and slam it down, nice. Take a little breather, catch your breath. We're gonna go into this first circuit. All right, so the first circuit, uh, you're starting off in a plank position. So hands down beneath your shoulders. And each move we're doing for 40 seconds, and then 20 second break, we'll explain the next move. So for this plank reach, downward dog ankle tap. All right, so you're in the plank, and then you reach to the downward dog, tap your ankle, back to the plank. Reach, downward dog, tap the ankle, back to the plank. Reach, downward dog, tap the ankle, back to the plank. Reach, downward dog, 
Back to the ankle, tap the plank, or back to the plank. I'm starting my watch for 40 seconds. Everybody ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and work. 40 seconds of work. All right, we got 40 second work set and a 20 second rest set. All right, so you keep working for this full 40 seconds. You have the plank downward dog reach. All right, my watch is giving me a little hard time here, but let's see if we can get it working. All right, here we go. 20 seconds left. All right, plank, downward dog, opposite ankle, reach. Plank, downward dog, opposite ankle, reach. Back to the plank, downward dog, opposite ankle, back and forth. Pull the abs in, reach, long arm, flat back. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, 20 second break. During this 20 second break, I'll show you your next move. Sumo squat pulses. Hop up to your feet, feet as wide as you can get them, all right? Sumo squat, hold it down into a squat. Get as low as you can, hands to center, hands at hips, and pulse. One inch up, one inch down. Now join me, one inch up, one inch down. Three, two, one, go. 40 seconds of work. One inch up, one inch down. Drive the knees out, feel the burn in the thighs. Keep fighting, keep working. All right, you got 30 more seconds. Keep it up, sumo squat pulse. If you wanna speed it up, speed it up. All right, make sure you breathe. Inhale, exhale. Every time you go up and down. Inhale, exhale, keep working, keep working. You got 15 seconds left. All right, drop your butt down, keep your chest up, heart to the sky, and fight. Fight that burn. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a 20 second break. All right, during the break, Eyes on me. I'm gonna push it up into a glute bridge. Long arms. All right. Pull the belly in. Tuck the tailbone under. All right. Ankles right beneath your knees. Push up into the bridge. Under control. Lower down. Tap your butt. Push back up. Now join me. Starting in three, two, one, go. 40 seconds of work. Under control down. Power up. Reach your arms really long. All right, so your shoulders go away from your ears. All right, drive your heels into the ground to really flex the glutes on the way up. All right, under control, down, power up. Under control, down, power up. Every time you reach up, pull the abs in tight. All right, really try to make those glutes work. All right, this is about rotating your thighs inward down towards the ground, but keep your knees on top of your ankles. All right, you got five more seconds here. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, one, good work. All right, 20 second break, we're moving on to circuit number two. Watch me and then join me. First thing we're gonna do is a plank rotation to the sky plus a push up. All right, so first push up, knees up or knees down, push up. All right, and then feet wider than your hips, rotate to the sky one way, rotate to the sky the other way. All right, now join me, everybody. Ready? Three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. Push up. Rotate to the sky. Push up. Rotate to the sky. Depending on your upper body strength, add a push up in between each rotation or rotate, rotate, and then push up. All right, here we go. Keep it up. 20 more seconds. Rotate, rotate, push up. Rotate, push up, rotate, push up. Five more seconds, rotate, push up, rotate, and push up. 20 second break, catch your breath. Back up to your feet. We're gonna do a tight squance, tight stance, squat pulse. Bit of a tongue twister there. All right, knees together, drop your butt down, as low as you can go, 90 degrees and pulse. Don't hunch over, shoulders up. All right, now push your feet into the ground. Here we go, join me. 40 seconds. All right, hands at your center, abs engaged, pulsing. Nice and low, drop your butt down, under control up. All right, a lot of breathing. Inhale, exhale on every pulse. All right, keep it up, keep it up. I know it hurts. Keep on working. All right, don't give up. Fight as hard as you can, surprise yourself. 
The magic happens outside of your comfort zone. All right, so get comfortable being uncomfortable. All right, keep on going, keep on going. You're almost there. All right, 10 more seconds. Drop the butt down. Keep it going, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 second break. Roll down onto your back. We're gonna do a single leg bridge. All right, 20 seconds on each side. Opposite leg straight up. Drop your butt down and up. All right, pull the abs in tight. Drop the butt, tap the ground, right back up. Join me in three, two, one, go. 20 seconds on each leg. Under control, slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Slow down, fast up. Slow down, fast up. Tap and explode. Three, two, one, switch. Other foot down, shoulders away from your ears. This leg straight and down and up. 20 seconds, here we go. Down and up. Make that glute work. All right, pull the abs in. Pull your heel towards your butt so your hamstring's really working. And just work that glute. 10 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. You guys got this. Like I said before, the magic happens outside of your comfort zone. So push yourself to being uncomfortable here. Three, two, one, and rest. Rolling over into a plank position. Grab your dumbbells. This is called a renegade row. All right, so you're going to hold this plank, pull the elbow back, alternate, pull the elbow back. All right, 40 seconds, everybody ready? If you don't have a dumbbell, do it without. Three, two, one, go. Row and row. Back flat, neck long, looking straight down at the ground. Tuck your chin and row. Stabilize through your core. Keep on going, all right? Keep working. 20 more seconds. Pull that elbow back. Pulling the elbow back. Straight up towards the ceiling. All right, don't let your hips rotate. That's really gonna make the obliques work. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. 20 second break. All right, and we're going back up to your feet. And on this one, you're gonna hold the squat. I'm gonna show you from the side. Hold the squat. Step back into a lunge, and then step back into a lunge. All right, everybody ready? Join me in three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. Holding the squat, stepping back to a lunge. Holding the squat, stepping back to a lunge. All right, get low, chest up, abs engaged, equal balance. Toe and heel, and push yourself. All right, have some fun. All right, surprise yourself how strong you are. Keep up going, keep working, halfway there, 20 more seconds. Push it back, and in. Back, and in. All right, stay low. Almost there, 10 seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one 20 second break and roll it down onto your back hands extended next to your hips elbows into the ground push your hips up hold the top abs tight glutes tight and you're gonna march pull one knee into your chest and then switch knee to chest everybody ready join me in three two one go 40 seconds of work all right pulling that knee up and you're marching. Don't let your hips drop. Keep the hips up, all right? That's how you really work those glutes and hamstrings. All right, push the hips as high as you can. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Drive the heel into the ground and make those thighs work. All right, 15 more seconds. Nice and stable for your midsection. Keep pushing, keep working. Almost there, final eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Next circuit. Come on up. We're gonna roll over into a push-up position, and we're gonna do a hand-release push-up. Watch me first, and then join in. Flat back, 
all the way down, put your stomach down, lift both hands up, and then right back up. All right, drop your knees down if you have to. Push up, both hands up, and then back up. All right, join me, 40 seconds of work in three, two, one, go. All the way down, hands up, all the way back up. Nice, drop it down, hands up, back up. So your chest and your triceps are working as you push your body up, and then your back muscles are working to push your elbows up. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears the whole time, and release your hands from the ground, pulling your elbows up using the lats. All right, keep it up, keep it up. As many push-ups as you can, and if you start to not be able to do the push-up, just hold that plank position. All right, keep it working. 15 more seconds left. Almost there. Drop it down, release the hands, pull it back up. Counting down from seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pop up to your feet. And we have a squat hold, alternating lateral lunge and curtsy lunge. So hold it down in the squat. All right, out to the side, cross behind. Back to the squat, out to the side, cross behind. Now join me, three, two, one, go. 40 seconds of work. Lateral lunge, curtsy lunge, lateral lunge, curtsy lunge. Stay low, stay low in that squat. All right, really try to keep the thighs working. Heart up, hips down, abs tight. Lateral, cross behind. Stay low, lateral, cross behind. 10 seconds left. Stay low, lateral, cross behind. Stay low, lateral, cross behind. Good, 20 second break. Going right back down into the bridge, single leg bridge, hold it up, glutes tight, abs tight, other leg up, two kicks to the sky, and then a heel tap to the ground. Point the toe up, flex the toe down. Three, two, one, come join me. 20 seconds on each side. Kick, kick, and tap, hips up, kick, kick, tap. You got it. Really making those glutes work and the abs and the leg. Kick, kick, tap. Five more seconds on this side. Kick, kick, tap. Three, two, one, switch. Other side. Kick, kick, tap. Hips up. Make the glute work. Kick, kick, tap. Try to have some fun. Kick, kick, Tap, do your best rocket impersonation. Kick, kick, tap, hold it up with the hips. Kick, kick, tap, 10 more seconds. Kick, kick, tap, kick, kick, last one, tap. Kick, kick, and tap, nice. Come on up, hold, get that medicine ball if you have one. We're gonna do a Russian twist with the medicine ball. All right, adding a little bit of a ball slam on the Russian twist. So if you can, pick your feet up, or if you can't do that, keep your feet down, glue your knees together, rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam. Three, two, one, here we go. 40 seconds of work. Slam. Slam. I'm gonna try not to bother the neighbors downstairs, so I'm not gonna slam too hard, but at home, Feel free to slam as hard as you can, all right? Get those core muscles working with that slam. All right, keep pushing, keep pushing. 20 more seconds. Rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam, rotate, slam. Last one, rotate, slam, rotate. Slam, nice. Two more ab exercises in this circuit. All right, really focusing on the abs. Flat on your back, pull the abs in tight. Long arms, pushing the hands and elbows down. Pull your knees up, and then extend your legs out. Point your toes, 
flex your toes, bring your legs back in. Ready? 40 seconds in three, two, one, go. Point out, flex in. Point out, flex in. Point out, flex in. Knees together, point out, flex in. Point out, flex in. You got this. All right, keep working hard. Pull the abs in tight. Keep pushing the legs out and in. All right, 20 seconds left. I know your abs are burning. Work a little harder than you're comfortable working here. All right, keep pushing to the finish. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. You break for 20 seconds. I'll show you the next move. All right, so right from here, as you crunch up, reach the legs out. As you come back down, legs back in. Crunch up, legs out, back in, legs in. Three, two, one, here we go. Crunch up, legs up, roll down, legs in. Crunch up, legs up, roll down, legs in. Crunch up, legs up, roll down, legs in. Try to have long arms, long legs. Right, when I first started doing Pilates, I grew an inch. Now I'm 6'5". I started at 6'4". I'm not even kidding. 20 more seconds. Keep working. Keep working. You got 15 seconds left. All right, you're going to grow an inch today. So elongate that spine. Elongate those legs. Long arms, long legs. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a 20 second break. We have another core circuit here. All right, similar to that last move you just did, but now we're switching up the direction your arms are going in. So as your legs go out, your arms go back. Hold the crunch the whole time if you can. If not, you can, vet, you can modify and keep your head down. All right, head down, legs out and in, arms out and in, or hold the crunch, arms and legs out and in. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. 40 seconds of work, push it. Push it, you got this. Almost done with class, couple minutes left. All right, arms out and in, and back together. Get long, we're gonna grow an inch. Back in, get long, and back in, get long. Back in, 20 more seconds. Let's go, fight to the finish. All right, push yourself a little harder than you're comfortable with. That's where your body's gonna adapt. Magic happens outside of your comfort zone. Counting down from 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna give your lower back a little stretch while we still work the glutes hamstrings. All right, so cross one leg over into this figure four position. Pull the abs in, elbows down, long arms, push your hips up. And then under control, drop it down. Hips up and down. All right. Join me for 20 seconds on each leg. Here we go. Big exhale up. Big inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. This feels really nice on the hips after all that other work we did. All right, so enjoy that stretch. Three, two, one, and switch. Other leg, hips up, and back down. Nice, up with power, down with control. Big stretch. Opening up some range of motion, pushing up, controlling it down. Shoulders away from ears, long arms, pushing up and back down. Five more seconds, two more reps, up and down, up and down. Now we're gonna fight for, push to a strong finish here. All right, we have one more exercise and then a little cool down. It's another core exercise. I want you guys to start, feet flat, knees bent. Roll it all the way up into a crunch where your lower back is supported, but your upper back is up. Pull your belly button in tight. Reach your arms long. And now you're gonna extend your legs out long, put your heels together, toes apart, and pump the arms. All right, we're gonna pump those arms 100 times. All right, 40 seconds of pumping. Here we go, three, two, one, go. All right, keep, keep working, long arms, long legs. If you have to bring your legs in, you can modify and do it here, but push yourself, try to keep them out. All right, shoulder blades off the mat. Keep going, keep going, you got this. You got this. All right, keep working. Keep working, abs in tight. 20 more seconds. Long legs, 
long arms, shoulder blades up, 15 seconds. All right, keep working. Make sure you breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, everybody roll it over. Stomach down, hands beneath your shoulders, and stretch those abs. Push up into a cobra stretch. Couple deep breaths, opening up the entire front of your body. Rotate one side, rotate the other side. All right, one more rotation each way. All right, extend that spine, stretch those abs, and then roll it over onto your butt. Legs out long, arms up to the sky. Reach all the way out and stretch your hamstrings. All right, now we're gonna go through a little arch and curl. Arch your back and curl your back. Try to keep your knees straight the whole time. So flex these quads, keep the knees straight. Curl down, deep breath. Arch it up, inhale. Curl it down and exhale. Good. Arch it up, hold the arms up, take one leg back, and we're gonna do a quad stretch. Get back to your hands, maybe your elbows, or maybe your back. Hold it there for a big inhale, exhale. And then come on back up. Take that leg that was back, rotate it on top of your other leg, opposite elbow, back of your knee, and rotate the spine. Big inhale, exhale. Telling your body to start cooling it down. Start that recovery process. You worked hard today. Now it's time to recover. All right, legs back out. Other leg goes behind you. Maybe you get to your hands, that's okay. Maybe you get to your elbows, that's okay. Maybe you go all the way back. Stretch the quad. Take a nice deep breath. Think about what you're eating for your next meal. All the way back up. And cross that leg over. We're gonna stretch the spine again. Rotate into this spine stretch. All right, stay tall as you rotate. Really try to get some mobility in the spine in this rotational motion. All right, and then come on back. Come on up to your knees. Gonna do a little tricep stretch, pull one arm overhead, pull the elbow down, and then side bend over. Back up, hands to the sky, other elbow, pull the tricep stretch, pull the side body stretch, and then come back to the start. And you guys are done. Great job today, round of applause for you. Thank you guys for joining. Excellent work. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.